Hey everybody, welcome back to the Huffman house. We're in the kitchen yet again. Surprise, surprise. Uh, you know, we're in full swing with tomatoes for sure. I did a review on this Weston um, de-seeder slash juicer type thing uh, a year ago when I got it. And a year later, I just want to say I'm still absolutely pleased with this thing. It has been just great to have. Uh, it's definitely easy to put together. And it, uh, it's really easy to clean also. All these parts that I'm putting on now, I just run them through my dishwasher. And it um, works really well. Get this to attach, maybe. Why don't you want to go on? Okay, I say it's easy and then this happens. There we go. Whee! And it has, it came with three different sizes um, holes here. This is the, the tightest one is the one that I use for um, doing my tomato sauce. So I just wanted to come back on here and do a second review now that it's a year later and I've been using it and show you some of the things that I kind of discovered works for it. Okay. Oh, I hope if I go like that. Okay, there we go. Now we're set. All right, so one of the main things that I found while using this is it's a lot easier if you prop it up on something. Can you see? Yeah, you can see I have it up on a cutting board. If you're just flat on the surface of your counter or whatever, the dish that gives you the juice in the pole, it's really hard to get it under. This is my own. This did not come with it. This came with my hand cranked one. But again, trying to find something that you can fit it on. I just find it easier to put it on the edge here. And that gives it a little bit more height. And that tends to work really well. And then this bowl down here is just for the seeds and the skin to, to um, spit out. Uh, I really like it for many reasons. It's definitely a lot quicker than hand doing it. Other thing is you don't have to skin the tomatoes first, which really helps out a lot. Now I do have an easy way to skin them and I've done a video on that and that's just freezing them. And then when you under, uh, run them under the water, the skins come right off. So, I mean, that's an easy way to skin them. But with this thing here, you don't even have to skin them. So what we do is we just take the tomatoes and kind of cut them up and cube them up. That's it. Then I do put them into this roaster here because of the fact that I've tried to put it through without um, softening them up first and you can do it, but it was kind of hard to really get it down into the hopper. So um, I do throw it into a roaster. It doesn't take too long. I mean, if you wanted to wait till the next day, you could or you know just leave it in your roaster on low or whatever. Um, or it can just you can just take like an hour for it to cook down if you wanted to work on them that day and um, Again, you don't have to you don't have to peel them. You just take them like this Now that they're softened up in the roaster a little bit And just get them into your hopper And we're gonna just mash the button. Let's see, can y'all see? I'm gonna put y'all down a little bit so y'all can see it coming out. Okay, I got you zoomed in here so you can hopefully see what's going on. So I'm gonna put on the button. going on here 
So it's dejuicing it. We got the seeds and the um, skin coming out here. You crank this up, you can see inside there, you have the pulp. So generally I just take a knife Just kind of clean this pulp off of here every so often. And that's it, you guys. I mean, like, how much easier could that be? I really, really am very pleased with it. Like I said, we've had it for a year now. I have not tried it with any fruit yet to de-seed um, or just uh, get the juice from any fruit yet. I do plan on doing that and I'll probably bring you back for that once I do it, just so you can have an idea. So, thanks for joining me on this quick little video on the Weston the Cedar that has just been the best thing we've ever invested in for sure. I did keep my handheld one um, that I have just in case, you know, power and that type of stuff. But yeah, you need to get yourself one of these. All right, guys, we'll see you next time.